Good morning. A number of you have asked about problem 10 from problem set 9-5 to determine the change of momentum when a 0.1 kilogram egg is dropped from a height of 5 meters onto the floor. You could have looked at this from either of two perspectives. Scenario 1, where the initial velocity just before the egg is dropped is 0 to the final velocity after the egg has crashed on the floor, which is also 0, since momentum is defined as mass times velocity, and since the velocity in the before and after situation are both zero, the change in momentum is zero. I would have accepted this answer had you fully explained this scenario. Another uh, perspective is this scenario two, where the initial velocity or the initial situation, initial conditions are just prior to the egg crashing on the floor, where the final condition is at the egg, with the egg fully broken up on the floor, where it is stopped and the final velocity is zero. So we know the uh, final momentum is zero since the final velocity is zero. The question is, what's the initial momentum? And to determine that, we need to know the initial velocity. That initial velocity in scenario two is actually the final velocity of this intermediate scenario, uh, where we're dropping the egg from the five meter height to a point just before it touches down. How do we calculate this final velocity? Well, from our kinematic relationships, we know that V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the change in distance. Okay, um, We know that the initial velocity in this inter intermediate scenario just before the egg is dropped is 0, so that term goes away, and we therefore can calculate the final velocity here, which is equal to the square root of 2 times a times delta d. Plugging in the numbers, we have square root of 2 times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. I'm leaving the units out for a little clarity here. Uh, times negative 5 meters, and that's a negative 5 meters since it's falling from the point of here and it's negative. We calculate that. We come out with that final velocity is negative 9.8 meters per second. We can now plug this final velocity as the actual initial velocity in scenario 2. And so therefore we get a delta momentum, change in momentum, is equal to 0 minus 0.1 kilograms times negative 9.8 meters per second. And this comes out to be equaling about 0.98 kilograms times meters per second, or approximately 1.0 kilograms times meters per second. That's your answer. If you have any questions, by all means, uh, send me a PT, or you can ask in the uh, general questionnaire, and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you very much.